Let's write a C program to know more about continuous statement. I'll take two integer variables i and j. So let's assign one to i and let's keep iterating this for loop until i is less than or equal to five and let's increment the value of i by one for each iteration of this for loop. So i ranges from one to five. So let me include a statement here. Let me print the value of i inside the for loop. So remember initialization of variable i happens only once that is for on the first iteration of this for loop. After that the condition is checked and then the statement is executed and after that the increment operator works. After that the condition is checked if it's true the statement gets executed and then the increment operator works. So this is the flow. So let me compile and run this program. So it should print numbers from 1 to 5. So these are the iterations that is 1 to 5. So I'll add a word apple here. So this word apple should get printed from 1 to 5. That is 5 times. Okay, it's working. So let's see how continue keyword affects this for loop. So if i is equal to 3, that means if this is the third iteration of this for loop, I, I will put continue keyword. So what it should do is it should skip everything after the keyword continue. That is this statement gets skipped and then the control passes on to the fourth iteration of this for loop. Okay, let's check that. So one, two, three is skipped, four and five. So third iteration is skipped. That is the printing of Apple for the third time is skipped. Okay, so let me remove this. And let's see how it affects the inner for loop. So for j is equal to one, j is less than or equal to three, and j plus plus. So let me print out a message here. That is uh, percentage d oracle slash n j. So for every iteration of outer for loop, inner for loop should execute three times. That is one to three because j is initialized to one and j is less than or equal to three. Okay, now let me input some code here. That is if j is equal to two, that is if this inner for loops is in the second iteration, it should encounter the continue keyword. In this case, whatever is present after the continue should get skipped and the control should should be uh, should be switched for for the third iteration okay so oracle should be printed first time and the third time and the second time it should get skipped and it's working you can see the output here okay so this is how continue statement works in c programming language Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.